What is going on, everybody? Welcome in to Lyman Life Live. It is Monday. First Monday with no football. Technically, I think second Monday, but first oh, real, guess, real yeah. like. Yeah, we still have a hangover last Monday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're feeling it now. There is no football uh, going on, but we are here still to provide you guys with content. I'm your observing lineman, Uche Winery, here with my boy, Justin Blaylock. What it do? Jay Blay. Jay Blay was just out in L.A. hanging out. He uh, was enjoying uh, that whole situation to the fullest. Yeah, had my, had my toes in the sand and all that good shit. Uh, was feeling good in L.A. <laughs> uh, sunny, sunny skies, no clouds, about 78 degrees every day. Man. I ain't gonna lie, it did rain once for about uh, less than an hour. But, sure. Man, I mean, that's take me, take me here. back. Here. It, it, went, <laughs> it went 30 degrees, and then it went 70 degrees, and then it went 30 degrees the next day, and then it went 60 degrees. It was like, which what season are we right. in? Right. Yeah, we don't know what to do. Make up your mind. <laughs> Boy, if it wasn't for them Make prices, up your mind. Take me back. <laughs> you know? Take me back. But we did have we did have some things go on, some things that that you know, we could talk about. <laughs> and uh, I think I think first one I think most people all have seen this situation play out. But of course, we had uh, a little bit of a a skerfuffle, <laughs> a little bit of a skerfuffle out in Madison, Wisconsin, when the Wisconsin Badgers played against. Uh, the Michigan Wolverines. And this is the crazy thing about this is that I don't think anybody really, really thought to themselves at the, at the outset that Juwan Howard would be the guy who would just go straight South side of Chicago <laughs> on somebody. Cause he was mad. Home. He was mad about some, uh, he was mad about a timeout being called by the Wisconsin head coach. Now, you know, of course, we're going to show video here because, you know, <laughs> we all want to be entertained. <laughs> but that's what we came for. Uh, I, well, let's look at the video and then then we'll give our reactions because, I mean, everybody was kind of surprised when they saw this. <laughs> but it looks so sincere the way he did it. It looks so sincere. Let's check it out. Hold on. Hold on, let me get my audio right real quick. Why is it doing that? Uh, okay, here we go. Boom. All right, let's let's check it out. Uh, here we go. He said, "Don't touch me! Don't fucking touch me!" <laughs> <laughs> and, um, the shit is the thing. Oh, gotta love it. Come on, cameraman, get in there. Get in right. there, cameraman. You make it a real tough to you know, ascertain what's going on. <laughs> so i mean that was really that was the that was the the most of it i think uh <laughs> somebody's hot <laughs> now, who was this guy yeah who's this giant on, hey, hey, you, you, this guy right here 34 let's go let's go just just be quiet it's over somebody's gonna <laughs> snuff you keep talking you see, a couple of these guys uh, haven't been around too many fights. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's the footage. That's the footage. Honestly, I, 
I mean, Juwan Howard was clearly in the wrong gear. This was, this, yeah, <laughs> I've seen both. Uh, they both did pref- press conferences afterwards, and apparently yeah. it wasn't it wasn't long enough after the incident because they were both still, you know, feeling something. They, were, they right. were still hot. They was yeah. like, ah, you know what? If his ass was in here right now, <laughs> gosh from, dang it! Show him how we do things. Yeah. Um, I don't care what happens. You know, you don't put your hands on somebody in that situation, uh, especially over, you know, something between the lines. You yeah. Know, you, might, you might disagree. Uh, and I've even heard of cats, you know, showing up to the opposing locker room. Okay, I get it. Uh, but not then and there, uh, especially for something that's, you know, in play. Yeah. Uh, if, he, if it was something personal, you know, they had some history. I, I, I still don't think that's – I don't think there's anything that – I just don't see – I just don't see a point where uh, if you were going to take that course of action, you should have done it immediately yep. to the guy who you were pissed at. Yeah. I mean, at least in that situation, we can look at it we can say – Okay, well, they was having beef and he went too far. But they were having beef and he did grab it. I mean, yeah, he, he now I can see where you're gonna be like, yo, yo, don't fucking touch me. He grabs his arm but, for sure. Yeah, he grabs his arm, he turns his body a little bit, even. But it's like, okay, if you're gonna be bad, which we would I would still say you're wrong, and I would still say that you were kind that you're a little bit of a hothead. If you want to get mad when he grabs you and turns you perfectly, I can I can let that slide because hey, hey, motherfucker don't want to be touched. Don't grab him like that. You know, like <laughs> this is this is America. I wouldn't grab a, a I wouldn't grab a dude like that. Like you invading their space once you do that. Right. Don't but, they watch the news? You can't just do that to people you know now. I mean? <laughs> you just snatch on you just snatch on a dude's arm, like because he won't because he won't look at you, he don't want to talk to you. Okay, well, if he snuffs you, yeah, he's he's wrong, but <laughs> street street justice says, hey, that's a that's an acceptable reaction to an yeah. extent. You gotta live with the consequences. <laughs> but you, you know, know that being said, he did take things from about a two uh, <laughs> to at least like a seven or eight, you know. Uh, your family. honor, we will the, the defense <laughs> is willing to acknowledge that we did actually uh escalate this disproportionately. We did. But laws of the street gives us a little bit of leeway here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, Jawan Howard's wrong for doing that. And part of it is that one, you're the head coach. Like, if you're gonna get if the head coach yeah. don't fight the assistants, the head coach fights the head coach. <laughs> you know what I mean? There, there's gotta Kings. be a, 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 a there's gotta be you know, uh, a hierarchy to this. You don't fight peasants if you're in the fucking royalty. You know, you don't you don't deal with them. You send them you send you send the light. You you take your you have your, your security take care of the lightweight. Yeah. You send a player over there to smack an assistant. That's acceptable. Yeah, yeah. But you're, uh, ch- checking pawns and shit and rooks. You know what I mean? <laughs> he did that. He did snatch up their head coach by his by his by his jacket though. That was kind of funny. He snatched him up like had his his. Let me see. Let me pull it. Pull it back up here. I mean, that's he a, that's had his shit snatched up first. That's a large. That was man. a. That, that was like like. Oh, there it is, right there. Yep. See, by the, <laughs> by the watch his hands. <laughs> oh, he, he snatched him up. Like, Don't you fucking touch me! He got his whole sweater curled up in his hand right now. <laughs> You know, I'm just like, have- damn, why is it getting serious like that? So, I mean, if they stopped right wrong. there, we could have been okay. Yeah, they could st- it could have been stopped right there, and we would have been like, okay, it's fine. It's, it's just uh, coaches getting heated. Because a finger in the we face can, is also take- pretty disrespectful. Yeah, finger in the face is also disrespectful. <laughs> like, if you I mean, put your finger in my face, the first thing I'm going to do is try and snatch that finger off. Yes. So, I mean, you know? I realize there's no contact there from the finger in the face. But in my it's eyes, it's just that's, you that's look, probably it, more disrespectful. It than, is. You know, I'd rather you be in my face with the yelling and talking shit than 
than sticking your finger in my face. Because <laughs> like the first thing I'm to... thinking is he's gonna start. He's gonna, next thing he's gonna do is poke me in the forehead, and that yep. is then. We're, oh, I mean, and, now we okay. Oh, now we're tussling. All bets are off. Now we're tussling. now we're tussling. We're on the ground. You know, all no holds barred. <laughs> But yeah, no mom, holds barred. We we finna get into it. My mom used to hit it's me with that sports center with that with that arm grab every Sunday in church. <laughs> you know, for real. So I'm, I'm used to that. <laughs> you know, that's the wake your ass up. Uh, <laughs> Man, it's but, it's it's funny though because you know when they asked him in the post game interview, like he's like, I said, he does just say, hey, I said, don't touch me. So it's inappropriate. <laughs> So then why you hit the dude like 20 seconds later, though? Like, I'm pretty sure uh, open hand slapping the man on the side of his face is also inappropriate. <laughs> yeah. I mean, open hand smacked him. Open hand smacked him. And then, you know, everybody kind of get, it's, it gets frantic. People start pushing and shoving. But at the end of the day, the right decision was made to suspend Juwan Howard because that's what they've done now. They have suspended him yeah. was it five for the games? remainder of the season. Yeah, I think, Howard I think it's will five be games suspended. left. Yeah, five games left. Yep. Juwan Howard, Juwan Howard will be suspended for the remainder of the of Michigan's regular season per Dan Wetzel. Howard was involved in verbal altercation with Wisconsin head coach uh, Greg Gard before striking assistant coach Joe Krabenhoft. <laughs> oh, hothead motherfucker. <laughs> they, they probably got that right. Uh, yeah, yeah. They I mean, got I'm trying to right. imagine, like, what were some of, like, <laughs> Bob Knight's uh, suspensions back in the day. Although I don't think he ever struck another coach. I could be wrong. Uh, he beat up his kids, though. He's, he's beating up yeah, his own guys. <laughs> he's his beating players. up his kids. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, that was mostly in, in practice situations. Uh, not sure so, that uh, makes yeah, any I, difference. I, yeah, this is definitely uh, it's definitely the right call. I think it's the right call. You, you I mean, what, what happened to you a player? Can't do that. Yeah, a player would be out of there too. If a player did it, they'd get suspended. The coach would be all over their ass too. So yeah. you know, now it rolls are reversed. Yeah, you got to be suspended. Yeah, you and I mean, look, they're not winning the Big Ten title or nothing. You know, it's not like they're gonna. It's not like they're like ranked like you know <laughs> these guys are. Oh, <laughs> you know? oh, big shit talker. <laughs> It's not like they're sitting at like number three in the nation, like like the Boilermakers are, you know. <laughs> yeah. So you, you know, be, hey, uh, sit your ass down, try again next season. You can't you're probably you're probably on a short leash at this point, right? Uh, you know, since you haven't really delivered much as the Michigan head coach over the last few years that he's been there. I think he's I mean, got like what a four year contract. I mean, they gave what Jim Harbaugh's been there for how long? Till he Damn. beat his, <laughs> till he beat his rival. I mean, be patient. Y'all want to talk about yeah. being patient? Give yeah, this man that's one thing Michigan has learned to do. They learn to be patient, all right, because they ain't getting them wins. But uh, in all seriousness, you can't be uh, running a program with any type of discipline or, or trying to preach any type of discipline, and you yourself are you ain't here, got none yourself. Even though the other guy was, you know, dead wrong, putting his hand on you. Uh, apparently, all this stemmed from a. A timeout that was called late in the game, you know. I, I guess Jawan took ex- exception. Game was yeah. I think for all I don't intents know what and purposes there. over with. Like they're getting blown out, and the guy calls timeout towards the end of the game. Yeah, they were getting blown out. He calls a timeout because he's got his reserves in, and they're like Michigan starters are still in the game, so they're pressing up. And they're, you know, and I think uh, from what I remember him saying in the in the post game uh, conference, they had what four seconds to get the ball across half court, and it was all reserves. These are guys who were all cold, who are going to mm. come in and try and take on a press first team defense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, nah, we're going to call uh, we're going to call a timeout, and give ourselves ten more seconds. That's a rule. We get ten more mm. seconds, and uh, yeah, I'm not going to have my guys out there getting, you know, taken advantage of because they're just getting in the game. Which okay. makes sense. The strategy of it, hey, I'm not mad at that at all. I don't know why Juwan Howard would take exception to that when it was purely a strategic move, something to, to balance, to give balance to the situation that they were in. So, Yeah, it sounds like they were both kind of teeter or straddling the line of some unwritten 
unwritten rules. Yeah, here. yeah. That and and then then there's that. Yeah, of course, where there are unwritten rules. There are certain things you don't do. And you know, even though it's not a rule and it's and it's more frowned upon, that will trigger some that'll trigger a coach quicker than anything. We've seen we've seen that we saw that happen with uh who with with uh Jim Harbaugh and no not Jim oh, Harbaugh, shit. John Harbaugh and uh Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I think it was was it uh was it it was another head coach. I can't remember who it was. Yeah, I remember he like dissed him at the fucking. He's like, uh, you know what you street. did. Yeah, it just walked off. <laughs> it just walked off on his ass. He was pissed. Um, something tells me something makes me want to say Mike Vrabel, but I don't know if that's right. But still, no punches thrown, or you know, no one got slapped. Yeah, uh, yeah, nobody got slapped. No finger punches in their face. Oh, Vic Fangio. It was Vic Fangio. Okay. Okay. Appreciate that, uh, Justin. Now, I feel like these things. Yeah. So, I mean, not all the time, but they do happen. You know, yeah, shit like that happens. Or, you know, something goes. I mean, if you're getting blown out, there's a lot of shit that (laughs) anything can set you off. (laughs) These are some high strung motherfuckers, you know? Yeah, yeah. And and, and it's easy because even if you're you're getting blown out, there's you still want motherfuckers to abide by those certain unwritten rules and not do shit to like, you know, they always say running up the score, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, yeah, but can they run up the score? What are they supposed <laughs> to do if they break through your defense again and just fucking right. scatter 70 yards yeah. again? Not my job to stop Not me. score? Is he supposed to go out of bounds <laughs> at the one? No, he's supposed I'll to just score. Fall down and take a knee. <laughs> I mean, it's, now, it's your you know, job to stop him at the end of the day. Like like I talked about when uh, Coach Del Rio was, was on, we, we had a, a drive where we ran the ball we ran uh, 36 power like 11 times in a row all the way down the field to the two-yard line. Now, the game was decided. They had no timeouts left, and we had like 36 seconds left in the game. They were down They were down uh, three points. If we would have just scored, that would have been breaking one of those rules. They would have yeah. been pissed. <laughs> I think that's even worse. That, that would have been pissed because we don't have to score. They can't stop the clock. And if you're scoring, you're scoring just to pad the stats, just to make it look like you beat the shit out these bums. Because now <laughs> it goes from a three-point game to a ten-point game. Hey, it's a two-score win. That's a solid win. That's a super solid win. Yeah. NFL, they can't that's... look at that and say you almost fucked it off because, you know, if you didn't watch the game, you'd be like, oh, okay, they, well, that was solid. They, they got a strong win there. But if it's a three-point game, you're like, okay. That must have been close. I want to see some highlights. Right. Which, hey, it's superficial, but it actually, like, there's some leverage to be gained there for a coach when it's talking about keeping your job. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Until they have uh, a way to forfeit and actually end the game early, I mean, this is going to be they'll an never issue. do because that, because that oh, will TV always look money. bad. You can't do that. Yeah, that would look really bad if they just now forfeit would have to be like uh, a team can't, you know, can't play in the game. Right, we've run out of players or something. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, until that day, which ain't coming, this yeah. is gonna happen. You know, people are yeah. gonna run up scores. People are gonna take timeouts. You know, when it's advantageous to them to do so, or you know, do some type of substitution that you take offense to because you know you're getting your ass stomped. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's 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 and it's real. You'll take offense to that shit. You'll get mad. Like <laughs> you'll be extra salty because you get your ass, you know, kicked. Yeah, you get your ass beat, and they just keep on laying it on. And cats, I mean, that's kind of the equivalent of like you know, cat being OC on the field when the game's already done, and you're in that helpless two minute drill because you know coaches want to be able to have uh to, to, to look like they give a shit, even though you're down four scores. <laughs> Two-minute drill with a minute left. Come on, man. Relax. Let's get so, this so time done with. So let's get my quarterback. No. They're like sending all over. kinds of wild blitzes at you. Yep. All kinds of wild-ass blitzes. And they trying to get that sack because they know it still counts as a sack. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, oh, yeah. Yeah, good he's been bad. suspended the rest of the season. That's pretty – I think that's a, a fair – Five games is a fair uh, consequence for what he did. 
Because what he did was pretty, you know, it was pretty unacceptable. Like nobody, don't be that bad of a sport because you fucking lost. Don't don't get that caught up on a timeout being called that you're going to hit somebody. And then he said, <laughs> you know, we joked about it, but then he's like, you know, where, where I come from? You know, where I come from? <laughs> South side of Chicago? It was fighting words. I'm like, bro, <laughs> out of way to flex your ignorance. Out right, of way like, to flex it. What yeah, is I'm this from guy? South side. You say a fucking word to me, we're fighting. <laughs> You don't know where Fight that guy's it. from. What if the other coach was from, from the South Side? I mean, yeah, what if he's like, I'm from fucking I, Jersey? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know he's not from the South Side, but yeah, he could he could be from somewhere rough. Who knows? You don't know, you don't know that you man. Know. Yeah, you don't know that man. You don't know, and you don't know what he's capable of doing to you. You have no idea. Struggle. You can fuck around and find out if you like. But you know, more often than not, people lose those situations when they when they when they get ignorant. So, you know, moving on from that, moving on from the Jawan Howard situation, we have another, another story that kind of, you know, came in under the radar, but in a, in a, in a low key way is actually something that that's worth talking about just because it does involve the NFL and it involves something that we've kind of been missing, I think, in the NFL over the past decade that there actually used to be be something of a development league in the NFL that I think, you know, was kind of a nice, uh, it was good to have something like that. And look, I'm not sure what the, what the logistics on all of that was and why the NFL shut it down. They shut it down, you know, right before I got to the league. So I got there in 2000, we got there in 2007. They shut down NFL Europe 2006. So I always believed that NFL Europe was a, was a really good idea. And that it allowed for, you know, a what, like a what? I think it was like 12 teams, a 12 team minor league. Something, Something yeah, like it was that. Quite a few teams. It was, yeah, like it was a nice little was minor cancel. league. And it was, uh, it was, it was, you know, you had players develop there. Kurt Warner's the guy who I think developed in the, in the, uh, in the NFL Europe for a year or two before he came in, before he came into the league. Yeah, I know we had two uh, guys on the line that uh, started that came over from that you know came over from NFL Europe. So it's yeah, yeah. So there, there, there's definitely, definitely like a, a benefit to it. 100%. And it's and you get paid some money. You get paid money. You play in the summer. You know what I mean? Yeah. You play in the in the spring and the summer. Now I'm told it fucking sucked on your body. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, imagine, I can't imagine I would have liked being in that shit. Not going to lie. You know, you go through that. And, and their training camps, apparently, no rules. So No rules. You got three <laughs> days, boys. <laughs> what? Full pads twice a day. Goal line. Uh, full tackle. Full cuts. <laughs> Everything. Man, we're going to do goal line scrimmage today. Two hours. The coach, we play tomorrow. That's tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Worry yeah, about we, that We play tomorrow. tomorrow. That's right, we do. It's so like, they go oh, from shit. that, you know, if you're fortunate enough to make the, the playoffs or what's the the World Bowl? I think it was the yeah, World I can't, Bowl. I think that I, – oh, they had like a playoffs too? I it was that. something. It, I mean, it was small. So they were like a legitimate teams. football league, an NFL-financed football league. Yeah. It was a development league. See, that's – I mean, you know, the NFL hadn't had – and I think that it's, it's uh, something that's obviously more – viable now from when mm-hmm. they cut it in 2006 it's more viable now because the money has grown has gotten so huge for the nfl yep. since yep. then the money was good then but now but after that because they started with uh roger goodell in 2007 from that point on the money started getting better and better and then booming yeah them tv you know so by the crazy. time we hit 2010 and got that new cba that's when it was Ooh. like okay now they're booming they're booming big time now yeah so those cats so, would go straight from that game to NFL training camp. Yeah, and which then, you know, <laughs> that is that's that's not fair. <laughs> I mean, it, it's like being a senior in college again, where you pretty much, well, even those guys have a break though. So this this is the worst. Yeah, because you go from a full season like competitive motherfuckers trying to get a job. Uh, yeah, you know, to the same situation, but you know, with even better uh, talent pool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. But that being said, I, mean, I know yeah, those I guys can... would those guys would do it again if they had the chance. 
Because it got them. Yeah, if because because they get a shot at making it to the big to the big show. That's why you still get a shot. And there's plenty of guys who who made it from yep. playing in NFL Europe, who would then maybe get like a week or two off and then go play <laughs> in training, go go to training camp, and actually made the roster. Yep. There were guys who did it. It wasn't uncommon. You know, yeah. usually you you'd have more special teams guys who would make that who would who would come through uh, get put on the team in that role, but it's it's uh you know, we had guys on my actually we had guys on Jacksonville. Dan, I think Dan Connolly was one of those guys. He ended up going to New uh, to New England, winning some Super Bowls. Shit, okay. And it's funny because I took Dan Connolly's spot in Jacksonville. <laughs> Cut him to keep me. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh man, that sucks. Uh, See you later. (laughs) And then it's like, yeah, see you later, asshole. Starting in New England, getting Super Bowls. Like, fuck. (laughs) No, that was good for him, though. He went on and he got some, went on to better things. But let's take a look at this video here. uh, Real quick. He had the kick return in the fucking uh, Super Bowl, right? Yeah, he had the fucking (laughs) kick return. He damn near returned a kickoff for a touchdown. Like, he almost did it. <laughs> it was like, how do you let this happen? I was like, Dude. Dan Connolly, you son of a bitch, you never fucking. Because you <laughs> oh, know he kind of didn't spoon. like me because I took his spot. Oh fuck! Which I didn't. I mean, I'm just like, dude, I'm a rookie. I don't know like, what, what you want me to do. I'm just, you want me to not play me hard? Just, <laughs> it's like, yeah, he was. Yeah, like he was the guard and he was the swing guy. So he was. Oh, uh, so this is like this was his time to shine. Center. Yeah, and backup right guard. Amen. So I come in and you know, after like the second preseason, after the second preseason game, they they put they put me with the starters at left guard. So I started the third preseason game, and then like they put me in as the swing guy after that because I got one start, and then they put me in as the uh, guy who would be behind our interior. I would back up the interior three. Okay, I never yeah. played center before. I I was playing center. I'm making calls and shit. They're like, yeah, yeah, hmm, that'll work. That'll work. <laughs> Next thing I know, last cut comes. Dan Connolly's like two lockers down from me. His shit's gone. I'm like, oh, Ooh, shit. Damn. Sorry for ya. I'm right. sitting in the locker room. Jack come walking in the locker room, looking at the name boards with a cup of coffee in his hand like. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's up, motherfucker. It's what it's about, Ooch. <laughs> Down to our top 53. It's going to be our year. I was like, uh, yeah, sure. Glad I made it. <laughs> I was just making, yeah. trying to get a phone call this weekend. Yeah, I was not thinking about any of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but uh, anyways, we got a video here. Uh, XFL and the NFL are actually collaborating. Now, this video is interesting. We're going to listen to it. We're going to listen to the Rock Talk. Then we're going to talk about it because I've seen the video. I've seen it already. And I had some, had some time to think on it. But I want you guys to see it as well. And then we'll, we'll, go, we'll go over it. So let's take a look and listen here to The Rock. Excited. I am motivated. And, um, and man, this one is humbling. I am so honored to be able to share this very big announcement with you guys that the XFL is officially collaborating with the NFL, the National Football League. The whole idea about the XFL, NFL collaboration is to grow the game of football, the game that we all love, the game that we are passionate about. Now that the XFL is joining forces with the NFL with one goal in mind, which is innovation opportunities to advance the game of football. But in addition to, you know, the innovation opportunities, we're also looking to not only grow the game of football, but also uh, create opportunities for player development on and off the field. And as an XFL owner, As you guys know, my number one priority will always be the players and creating more opportunities for them. So we're just getting started. What a force to be reckoned with, the XFL and the NFL. I'll keep you guys posted. I love you guys. Here we go. The announcement was so big, he took a break from his workout to to give it to us. (laughs) But here's the thing. What the fuck is he talking about? Was there any I, specifics at all in that statement about anything? He said two things: grow the game of football, create innovation, innovation. opportunities. 
no, three things and create oppor- more opportunities for players. But like, in what way are you talking? This is very vague speech that he's using. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, I think he's got to cover his ass on some stuff. Cause because think- innovation, like, you know, and, and I know the answer to this because I, I, I saw the news, the press release that uh, the XFL actually released about this collaboration. Uh, and it's 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 not what you think it is. It's not anything in regards to being a developmental league or having any kind of developmental uh, status. Yeah, I saw his, his you know ex-wife. for the NFL to to be able to you know get players yeah. from there. Yeah, she said there's nothing to do be, with any of that. There wouldn't be player sharing. That's she said that's not the vision uh, that they plan on executing. And I think which Roger to me is a big similar. fucking mistake. So if it's not that, what are you doing it for? Yeah, why else would you do it? But what they're doing it for is because they want to. The NFL is going to use them as fucking guinea pigs for new uh, yeah. rules yeah. and for uh, any kind of you know uh, really well, really just. And rules. But if they, Anything if they, they want to try to out. This, out. This could be useful. Um, I mean, imagine, I uh, remember right after the Super Bowl, we were talking about the turf because uh, OBJ, you know, blew his knee yeah. out just fucking running. Uh, so imagine they, they're trying out, you know, some type of regulatory standard for turf now, and they want to try it there first. Or I- anything that, you know, you, you could think of. Uh, so I could imagine... That might be the innovation play. Like anything you want to try out in the NFL, let's just do it here first. You know, you want to uh, someone yeah, made a new helmet. That's what it boils down to. But, but everything short of you know developing players for everything short of actual football, like <laughs> actual on the field action. Yeah, we don't give a fuck about your players. We don't want them. Damn. Uh, but it's funny. <laughs> you know the the XFL has provided you know, a couple of players to the NFL that these guys have actually found themselves in the league now. And they're actually like, they are, they are in the NFL, like uh, Heineke from, from Washington, from the commanders. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's an XFL export. You know what I mean? Uh, Kenny, what was his name? The guy who's backed up, uh, the guy who backed up Cam Newton in New York, in uh, Carolina. Walker. PJ Walker. PJ Walker. He's another XFL uh, export, I believe, and maybe I'm I might be wrong on this, but I believe that Baltimore's back up as well. Oh, uh, Huntley. Huntley, uh, yeah. Huntley? I, I, okay. I think he's a uh, he's an export well, look, from the XFL. I'm not there's sure. There's guys out I'm there. Not sure. Don't equip me. There's guys there. out there. So there. There's guys out there who are NFL players now who are good enough to be in the NFL now where they may not have been back, you know, back a few, few years back when XFL was going. So it, it, to me, it seems like that's the logical step because what does the XFL actually think it's going to do in terms of com- competing with the NFL? That's yeah, never if, going to happen. If you're not developing guys for the NFL, you're in competition with the NFL. With the NFL, which is which is a losing game. That's a losing battle through Unless, and through. You're not. I mean, is going there another angle win. I'm not seeing here? I mean, we already <laughs> yeah. have, you know, college sports for you know younger players to develop. Atl- Atl- uh, Atlanta's kicker. Uh, why would I have uh, old who, guys? Who is his name? Right. Oh, young young way, cool. Yeah, young way cool. Yeah, cool. Cool's an AAF guy. So I mean, I don't know why I don't understand what these leagues are trying to do in in that they're trying to be like spring football. But you know, if you've paid attention to the, the XFL was the closest thing to getting it right. And I mean, who wants to be a their ratings in spring football? Their ratings started to collapse pretty quickly after the first opening week. The ratings started going down the hill after about two weeks. Yeah, AAF because the play on the field year. became sloppier and sloppier, and it didn't look very good. Yeah, you know, wants to be like some teams looked uh, fine, but most of them looked pretty bad. The the fucking MVP or the lifetime achievement guy of spring football, like I don't, yeah, no one. 
if if you're a player, there's no way you're looking at this like, man, I, I want to have a 15 year XFL career. You know, if if it even lasts that long. I mean, I'm sure The Rock has plenty of connections. He can, you know, keep it funded as long as he wants. But who's gonna? Well, the keep thing the thing that, that I see, and, and who wants and to be involved? You know, exactly, exactly. That right? That, that, it's not. It's not. To me, I just don't understand why they don't look at the situation and say, "Hey, you know what? You you give us a con. We we can sign a contract with you guys to work to be a developmental pipeline. Any players who get released from your at the beginning of your or 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 we could say, you know, fifty half of the players that are released on your final cut, we'll get the rights to for the next spring." And when that spring comes, if you, you know, and these guys, mainly the guys they're going to give the rights up to are going to be guys that they think, hey, you know, this guy's probably, this guy's a guy that could probably make it next year if he's, you know, if they, you know, we can, if we see him again, he's a guy who was close, but just didn't make it. Yep. So we'll let them, he'll go down to the XFL and we'll give him another shot. And if he doesn't make it this time on the second time around, then we'll just, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll let him go. And he can, yeah. hey, you go wherever you go from there. So should I give but, this guy a chance to play in 10 games? Or yeah, just yeah. fucking be on a practice squad all year. Yeah, because I mean, you could have your practice squad guys who you know usually your practice squad guys are not going to be guys that you're going to be signing. You might sign one practice squad guy or two practice squad guys maybe onto because the of injury for a week because of injuries, or maybe a couple of weeks, and then you release them mm-hmm. and then bring them back on to the practice squad again. <laughs> like what the fuck? Like he could, you could be getting- send that dude down. Game, you know, you real could, game time snaps. Yeah, you could have him getting real game game reps in the spring or, uh, yeah, I guess in the spring because, I mean, you wouldn't want to have XFL running at the same time, but I think you could have it running at the same time. You could I have it running think, on fucking Wednesdays. Yep. I also would love – I'm not saying it has to be the XFL. I want anybody to do something after basketball but before football. <laughs> Yeah, just I so mean, I don't have to watch fucking baseball. <laughs> I know, right? I know. I, know. I, think, I, think, I don't think there's Bible I think time, there is, but there is. There, there's so much that they can do, man. There's so much that can they could be, be done, running right now, but on a different day of the week. Yeah, like you said. they can. You can do Wednesdays and Saturdays for fucking USFL or XFL. If Wednesdays I and Saturdays, or just do that. Saturdays. I'll watch the hell out and, of that. Yeah, I'd watch it because, you know, it's there. They were entertaining games to watch. Some of them were, you know, some of them were like, man, these both these teams suck ass. But there was a few teams like I thought the uh, the D.C. defenders, they were pretty good for a while. And then their quarterback, who was the Ohio State guy who came out early. Oh, was it? He Cardell completely Jones? blew chunks after. Uh, I forget his name. I think it was Cardell Jones. Yeah, Cardell Jones. Yeah, that's him. <clears throat> he was good for like two weeks, <laughs> oh, man. and then they start they start benching him because he started just doing dumb shit. It's like, bruh, say what you was doing in Ohio State. My are talking about you was going to be the number one overall pick. What the fuck? Ooh, yeah, how the mighty have fallen. Oh man, yeah, he fell off pretty bad. He fell off pretty bad. But um, I, I, personally, I have a lot of love for these smaller football leagues that try to like get their thing going. Because I think that there does need to be another layer of professional football that's not the NFL, but motherfuckers can make some money on it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the NFL is, is such a – yeah, the NFL is such an elite level league. The, the majority of these cats ain't going to – it's not going to make it. It's right. 2%. It's, it's like 1.8% of college football players are going to make it to the NFL. 1.8%. There's 1,900 NFL players each year. Yeah, but it shouldn't be all or nothing. So I mean, it, I, and, and exactly, and that's all or nothing there. If you don't make it in the NFL, then you know you got you got to move on. You know what I mean? There's there's but AAA baseball. I think that or, if you have a league like you like we've been saying, a, a league that provides yeah. a purpose, but also can sustain as a as a as a full time job for a player who maybe never makes it into the NFL, but plays you know eight years, five years, in – you know, the XFL or the USFL. And they make, you know, they got a couple of hundred thousand in their pocket when they're done. You know what I mean? Something that they can try and, you know, become an entrepreneur business person with, you know, after the fact. 
You know now what I mean? I'm, like, I'm or curious. you know, as they're playing. Now I'm curious about. He he said opportunities on and off the field. I'm curious about these off the field opportunities. Because I shoot, can't imagine so maybe that, the top players, maybe the top players are on a team. Shit, you get a, you get some stock options on the team itself. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I would want. That's what I'm thinking. Because these franchises, I mean, they're not going to be like NFL franchises. Yeah, these aren't going to be billion dollar <laughs> franchises for. The, I mean, it took the teams we, that are in the NFL a hundred years to be worth that much. Or maybe, you know, I get to be in a some type of leadership position after so many years or. I'm not sure what what he means by it because, like you said, it's pretty vague. But I, I'm very curious uh, what this could be, or maybe you're just a, a fucking The Rock stunt double <laughs> in his next movie. <laughs> I actually know his stunt double. His stunt double is his cousin. I know. Him. Uh, well, job's um, taken. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, I, I think that that you know, it definitely. I don't think that anybody's competing with the NFL in the football sense. That's just not that's not possible anymore to have a competitor to the NFL. You can only be a a, a supplemental a supplement to the NFL. You cannot be yeah. a competitor. Right. You right. you you wouldn't you need fifty years <laughs> to be a competitor. And they ain't gonna let that right happen. now. And there ain't no way you're gonna. They're not gonna let that happen. They will never allow it. Yeah, you need. But thirty more um, billionaires to, to buy teams. It, exactly right. But but speaking from that position, when you talk about uh, you know what's going on with football after the NFL, we got the USFL. The USFL's got their draft coming here in Next I think tomorrow days. or yeah two tomorrow days on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah tomorrow and Wednesday. That's and that's pretty big. That's a big deal. That's a big deal for them because, you know. And this is also their first year back, right? Yeah, this is their so first year back because I think they were. we get to see who sticks. They, they, they took a couple years off. They took, a, I think, I remember seeing some games summer of 2019. I think I remember seeing a few games that came on, which, I mean, you know, they're cool. It was, it's like cool to see that. It's cool to see, you know, football light. You know what I mean? Like, it's cool to see <laughs> right. that after the football season's done with. But these are the teams from the USFL. You got this, and they've rebranded, and they've got new uniforms. And we're actually going to take a look here. Let's take a look at this little sizzle reel that they did. Uh, let me see. Yeah, they got a little minute, minute and 30-second sizzle reel. Let's take a look at it. Let me share it real quick. I think that, I thought this was was fairly well done. Fairly well done. Let's take a look. Hopefully they don't copyright my <clears throat> There you have it. The USFL, United States Football League. God, can they like do this any like can we do it without like the whole super America thing on it? America. <laughs> nope, gotta be in America, there. USFL. <laughs> Like, okay, we got one. It's called the NFL National. <laughs> yes. We don't How about, need uh, any more reminders. You know, Extreme Spring Football League. How about that? XS, XSFL. There you go. Uh, what do you think about the uniforms? I mean, I, I now that now that you tell me that these are these are the throwback like teams that they had when they first started the USFL back in the day. No, I, <clears throat> I believe it's just the names. I'm not sure that the uniforms the names, or even yeah. the colors are the same. Um, I was looking, uh, I can't remember where I was, but it had, you know, home and away colorways for all the different teams. Uh, I'm not going to lie, most of these look pretty generic. Uh, yeah, no, these are generic it. ass uniforms. There's no, not really <laughs> anything going on. Um, Granted, I mean, for me, uh, I think that uh, this I don't want... the the stallions, yeah, that's kind of New solid. Orleans. I think those are the best ones. Yeah, I like the New Orleans They're... and the the guy in the middle, number eight. The kind of looks like Florida State. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, the stallions. Yeah, they they have okay. the best uniform. I think. Let's scrub through it. Hold on, let me scrub through. All right, so. 
Birmingham okay. Stallions. I mean, yeah, those look kind of clean. That looks that looks kind of clean. I said that that looks like, I, I the, like um, that. back in the day. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna be getting like, the call. You don't, the but then I look at these and I'm like, yo, why is this uniform so fucking loose? <laughs> <laughs> who's this guy? Who's this who's this football player that's in this? Because that these uniforms look kind of loose. <laughs> that's not how the uniforms are supposed to fit. Yeah, you're gonna be getting grabbed be and held. To the body. Yeah, there's too much, too much. Who's slack. the apparel? Who's the apparel maker on these? Who the fuck is making them? Oh, Champ. I, see, I see Oakley, but that's just, I mean, they make the shields for that's everybody. That's just the visor. They, they 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 give a visor to anybody. Yeah, I can get that at the fucking mall. Uh like who what kind of gloves are these? I can't tell what those are. What are those? Oh, those cutters. Are they? I think so. I thought I saw the C. Oh, what is that? <laughs> oh, hello. Is that an NFL logo? Yes, it is. I think. Ooh. Can we zoom in? Ah, let's not fuck up their money. <laughs> yeah, let's not fuck up their money. I, I like Man, the, the New Orleans. The shoes. Like, they got it. Like, I, I understand it's just photos and, and they're just doing like the real, but I mean, God. Oh, damn. wow. Yeah, it looks extra generic. Like some, uh, <laughs> Even the shoes look generic. <laughs> you could have at least put my man in some uh, some breads or something. For real, like put him in something. All right, so we got New Orleans here. See, I like that. I, this looks. I like the helmet. Yeah, the the helmet so is nice. What are they? They're the breakers, breakers. right? It's like uh, like when the levee breaks. Yeah, so that's like a kinda wave. This is like a wave on there. And they already have yeah, two lanes. So it's kind of a kind of dark comedy, but okay. <laughs> they already got two lane, which is the green wave, right in the same town. So, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I like I like the the simplicity of it, but also there is like a you can see a little bit of a of a, of a artistic touch with the oh, wave. Yeah. And the straight, you know, the the lines, the, the to the two toneness of the logo, where it's just yeah, I think it's they sharp. Don't try to overdo it. I think it's sharp. Like Sometimes that. less is more, but uh, it's the see the other ones I thought look like just like a template where I would start my creative player. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's those seem pretty easy, like pretty just template stamp on. This seems yeah. like it was actually there was a little bit of creativity put into this one. Like you guys aren't even trying anymore. You know what I mean? Like this one looks good. I like I like I like New Orleans. And then the blue ones. Get a good look at the front of the blue. Okay. I think the number could have used some work. Maybe give it a little bit more of a font that matches the design. Mm. But overall, you know, yeah, this uniform is still a little fucking loose. <laughs> <laughs> Still a little fucking loose. I don't get it. But yeah, that helmet, I like that helmet. Big guy. Yeah, the, the helmet. The, right, H- the Houston Gamblers. Just gonna throw this out. I, there. That name, I, I don't. I don't like Gambling that name. That name is kind of fucking. Yeah. Gambling's illegal in Texas. <laughs> yeah. Just saying. You can't even gamble. <laughs> And they got the state of Texas. They got, you know, they got the state of Texas. Uh, uh, Let me see. And the G. And with the G, kind of got a Star Wars cut into it. Kind of Houston's down here in the South. Uh, I mean, they'll take it since they don't really have football right now. Geographically correct. Okay. Yeah, I mean it's it's a it's you know it's an easy this is an easy one to pull off. It's a helmet. red, red, black. Looks white, like the Falcons gray. alternate. Exactly. It looks like the Falcons. Don't what are you doing? Don't pat your chest. The jersey is so loose. <laughs> pat your chest. And wait, do we, do we, have any of them had the names on the jersey or anything other than the number? I guess they all just have USFL. Yeah, USFL they, logo on the front. Well, See, they NFL. don't have that creative touch where you have the USFL in the collar, and then you have the team's name under the edge. Like, right. team right there, 
league in the middle right there. That's Super how the NFL easy. does it. Very easy. I mean, all you have to do is look at what the NFL is doing and, you know, try and, and match the, the modern, the mo- the level of modernized look to it. New Jersey General. <clears throat> New Jersey. See, I like the logo. I like this. Oh, logo is fire. Because it's the like. The logo is um, fire. I like that. What's the like, thing called I've, that they wear on the uh, on the arms like a, of a soldier's uniform? It's their. Uh, uh, bullet, I think is what it's called. Uh, but that's essentially, you know, what, what's on the side of the helmet, but you don't see it anywhere mm-hmm. else on the. Uh, well, guys. see, I think it's on the top of the pad. Oh, oh, wait, if it's on the top of the pad, that could be kind of cool because that's kind of kind of cool. mimics. I, I kind of like that. It kind of mimics a soldier's uniform. But this guy's shoulder pads are way too fucking big. Yeah, like these guys, who the fuck? <laughs> like, why are their jerseys stitched like this like i don't get it these have Maybe to it's be like I come from a league where they have where they actually have the jerseys fit to the body like exactly like it these have to be to like your body. recycled recycled high school jerseys like, wow well, you shouldn't tuck in your jersey and have hangover like this <laughs> oh no. that's just not how it works that's like 1996 jerseys look how big those thigh pads are sweet jesus lord this guy is not a real DB. No, these are models. Oh, see, I like that. There it is. The stars on top. Okay. See, I feel that like is. it shouldn't be on top, though. I feel like it should be that right part, here. It should be on the side. It should be on the that? side. And then put the 22 on top. Yeah. It should be on the side. God yeah. damn. I mean, but I like the color scheme. I do like the color scheme. I do like this logo is actually really good. I'm kind of like, man, that's probably what Washington wanted, but they couldn't get it. <laughs> They probably wanted to be the generals, and it was like, nah, we actually got one copyrighted already. Uh, we gotta we gotta trademark the uh, generals already. <laughs> oh sorry. For uh for a hundred million dollars, you could have it. you know he wasn't paying that. He's like, no, 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 no. commanders, commanders, yeah, we're we'll do it. We're good. What's under a general? <laughs> yeah. Cause I mean, if you think about it for a second. With that burgundy color that Washington has, can you imagine? It would look perfect with this gold. With their burgundy and gold? That would with that be logo? Sharp. Oh, it would be perfect. It would be sharp. That would be so... Oh. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be crispy. That would be really sharp. Yep. Wow. Washington, y'all fucking suck. Y'all blew it. Dan Snyder blew it on that. Because <laughs> he had a chance right there. Okay. All right, so, Pittsburgh Maulers. These ones I am totally not. I'm these are disgusting. I don't this is bad. These are bad. I don't care what if these were, you know, throwbacks back in the I don't care. This looks terrible. I don't like the like the mass or the logo. The logo <laughs> is ridiculous. Cause that what is that's not a mauler. Um, yeah, I, don't, I can't find anything. I'm trying to find something nice to say. Yeah, I mean, I guess, uh, I mean, purple and orange, though. <laughs> so if you, purple and orange is just not the kind of color you want to see. It kind of looks like the Broncos. Just smashed together. If you don't look close at all, if you just kind of like glance, you maybe mistake it for the Broncos because the – Purple's kind of like no, that. Purple, that purple is, is straight know. purple stuff. Purple, like I'm like really drink. trying here. Yeah, I, but, and the there. numbers. See, my problem with the numbers is that there's no variation in font to like actually go with the logos. There should be different fonts for the numbers. Like in the NFL, every mm-hmm. team's numbers is a font. Yeah, it's like the font for the team. Right. You know, that's that's these are just generic numbers, which. You loot like that's these are things that can get you that can get you points with the with the with the fan base with the audience because that adds just that little tiny layer of legitimacy. Oh look, oh man, their numbers they got their numbers design looking nice because it goes with the with the uniform. Like Jags, you know, in our uniform, the ones the ones we have now are terrible in Jacksonville, in my opinion, because they're like these, they're generic. But the ones we had before. And from 2013 on until 2018, 2019, 
Those ones were fucking, other than the helmet being two-tone, which they could have easily made those matte finished helmets and they'd have been perfect. Uh, the number font was fucking, I thought our uniforms were the best uniforms in the league because of the number font. The number font was compl- was purely Jacksonville. Mm-hmm. They looked just like the like the logo looked. Okay. <clears throat> the Titans have it too. The Titans have a number font that their numbers look, you know, like the font for their actual name. Uh, and it, it just adds that layer. Uh, it adds that layer. These are missing that. This is this one is the worst to me so far. Yeah, not a fan. Michigan Panthers. <sighs> See, I have a problem with the Panthers name. Like, why use that? Why why does there, you know, there's Panthers in everything. Sports. Yeah, right? that's, that's extremely common. It's way too common a name. Now, the uniform, uniform actually has some charm to it. I like the gold, the soft gold. I like the little the 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 the, the burgundy in there with the with the little that that little sky blue. That's a good look. That's surprisingly a good mix of colors. Works yeah, I well. Have, I wouldn't have imagined that, but uh, it looks all right there. It works uh, we'll well. Say this. It works well. Uh, they're, and I think it was them. I think they have the road pants or like a different yellow. Let me uh-huh. make sure it's them. Somebody, and this it was looks good. I think these look the best so far. This one actually looks. I mean, the number is still, they still don't have a number font, but this actually looks uh, the most cohesive of all the uniforms like the colors, the logo, the way the logo comes off on the helmet. Oh man, I wish I could send. It. Oh no, yeah, that, all that right, so um. Uh, yeah, they're they're away. It's a white jersey, but with like almost an orange pants. It, it's very peculiar because it looks. Well, that's probably why they don't show the pants in the fucking. Oh, hold on. That's why they don't show the away missing? pants in the whole little promo. Ah, uh, okay. And maybe it's just the the still photo that I'm looking at could have you know bad color saturation or something. But what I'm yeah, looking no, at... I haven't taken a look at their football. Their football looks... Oh, that's, that's all right. Well, let me just go on <clears throat> what I'm what I'm seeing here. This looks yeah. good. I like, I like these uniforms. I actually think these uniforms are... They look like they were... Like they that took a different... A different approach when they, when they picked theirs. Because, I mean, this does this... You know, this is fine, you know... It's fine, but I, I really would rather see the numbers look like this, look like these letters. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean when I say number font. Like, I feel like that would do so much better because it would have those, like, sharp edges. Yeah, it kind of make, make it pop, if you will. Yeah, it'll make it pop. <clears throat> They're missing that. Tampa Bay. I don't understand why this team exists. <laughs> Tampa Bay Bandits. And, I mean, this is just, this is terrible. These uniforms are terrible. These look like they're straight out the 1980s. Again, Uh, what is all this hang time? (laughs) Like, what the fuck? It's like, you know, a jersey for someone that would wear 99. At least you know, they gave him some fucking alignment, Nikes. And uh, they just put it on a DB size person. <laughs> the red uniforms look okay. They look fine. The, the red ones look fine. Um, the white ones look terrible. Uh, yeah, yeah this guy's like, uh, definitely too small to be wearing that jersey. Are those like the... Um, remember when we were kids, they had the fucking numbers that you could have the steam press on. Was it no, 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 no? It looks like it's shiny like that. But his it numbers. looks shiny, don't it? I, I think these are the uh, the sti- they've stitched, yeah, but 
Yeah, yeah I remember the press ons. I used to it be like, looks- man, I want them Stitch jerseys so bad. I was like, Stitch ones are what I want. It looks like it's pressed on. Yeah. I yeah, don't know if that's like the color playing tricks on my eyes. And I don't know what they're doing with these socks. But I feel like the socks, I feel like these these feel like they're really thin looking. Like I can see through them. <laughs> Which that's not <laughs> how that's supposed to work. That's out here in church socks. Yeah, you you know what I mean? Like. Well, I mean, uh, for, for the league, yeah, I got to have, you know, the white showing. I can't get over all this, all this air at the bottom of the jersey like his pads like it's like the jerseys are just too big it's clear that these guys never played like at any level okay now these motherfuckers i like this so i'll give you know i I feel like these are are just okay and they're very bland the red jerseys are fine but other than that they look very bland now the philadelphia stars okay this motherfucker looks like a McDonald's advertiser. <laughs> wow. This is bright as hell yellow. Actually, I think one of the teams on any given Sunday looked just like this. Fuck. Wow. wow. Obviously not the main team. They were all black. But, oh, man. There's... Hmm. See, I think the, uh, like the numbers here, because they got like the, the border is the other team color. That kind of, uh, I think New Orleans did the same thing where like they had the team color around like the secondary color. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes the, the, yeah the, the little, uh, the yellow out that traces out. The th- That's yeah, fine. Yeah. That's actually kind of like preferred. But again, I feel like if you look at this, there needs to be like some, it needs to, like the, the star because that star looks hot. I'm not going to front. That star looks, that looks clean. Oh, whoa. Hold on now. Is he supposed to be blocking somebody? Not, is he looking, not, he looking like he want to block a brother. Yeah. He's got to be the fullback up, 34. <laughs> See, this is the shit I cannot stand. <laughs> What's this shit? What are these stripes on the sides? What is that? That's weird. It looks weird. That's That's what kills it. I mean, and that actually does have a 70s feel to it, I guess, but you know, because of the uh, the way that the star is set up. Let me see that. Uh, you know, I like the logo. The star looks good. I like that. It's that old 70s three-tone kind <laughs> of simulating movement kind of star. <laughs> but then, you know, I look at these numbers and I'm like, well, shit, why don't y'all just do the same thing with the numbers? Oh, that would have been hot. That would have been hot. Take these stripes away. And just do the same thing you're doing with the star right here with the numbers. And then take the stripe off the middle of the helmet. That should look garbage too. Yeah, I don't like that. It's like a different. I mean, look at that. Completely different like color. It. Boom. There you go. Boom. Because that makes the star look 3D, right? Yeah. If you, that little, the whole depth edge right here. If they would have did the numbers yeah. like that, that shit would have been. Player. You know what I mean? Like that's how you. That's how you. Like, come on, man. Y'all, motherfuckers need help. Just let me know. I'll come help y'all design these shit. <laughs> Cause this shit is just so. This is lazy. They, y'all got. Y'all got. Y'all actually got something to work with here. I'm about to say they. They were on the right track for a second. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they yeah. right there. And maybe find some uh, arm sleeves that are the same color. You give these, yeah. You give these, uh, you give these numbers the the same treatment as that star. Yeah, then want- maybe even you you cut this shoulder, and you and just have this yellow right here. This whole you know cut cut the arm out. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. Just have it all yellow. Yeah, they were close on this one. But these stripes were totally useless. Like that's like some shit off a of video game. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're just gonna put stripes here on the, on the we're just gonna put stripes on the side. We think well, we think that'll work. We think that'll work. <laughs> and then take that shit off the middle, because that's useless. The middle of the helmet stripe. That's useless too. Damn, they were close with this. Yeah, the helmet stripe. Really peculiar. Look at that. That, that star looked clean. God uh, dang. I think it's the orange from the middle star. But it just looks, and it's like it's tilted, so it looks like it's crooked. 
Like, or I, it can't looks like if, it's moving, I can't tell. I can't tell if it's. I can't even tell if it's centered or not. The white yeah. lines are supposed to make it look like it's moving. I, 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 it's I'm, actually, I'm talking about the helmet, the stripe that goes like up and down the helmet. That's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the up and down, the one that goes in the middle, right? Yeah. Like, it's it like, looks like it. it it looks like it's off-center to me. Yeah, it doesn't look it's right because it's tilted wrong. Uh, I don't know, but on the on the star itself, yeah, I, I agree. It makes it look three D. Uh, it's a, it's that old seventies look. Like you remember yeah, that yeah. when you see TV shows. And I use like it. I like the I like the logo. They they had something good going, and they just didn't finish. They just they got they got lazy. There could have been you know budgetary restrictions. This, I, don't, I, I mean know. I'm. These numbers had, I mean, they maybe next year, but it's, damn, it's they begging be though. Numbers. Like you said, it's begging for the same treatment. Yeah, it's begging for it because other than that, it looks like something out of McDonald's. <laughs> it looks literally like a McDonald's like mascot. If you take the stars off of this, you would think, oh, McDonald's. Yeah, McDonald's is doing a football in commercial. Magic, and I hope you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So. And then uh and I think this is the last okay no they got all okay. of them that was it that was so it. you got Birmingham I think Birmingham they get a you know they get a C plus it's it's a good uniform but it's generic I think they get a B I, I give them a B yeah, I New like, Orleans I like these I like these I, I, I wish like they, they had did something there. Original. I wish they did something with the front of the helmet yeah yeah I wish they I wish they did something with I wish that they did something whoops hold up Ooh. I wish they did something with with the numbers. That's that's what it comes back to all the time. The numbers should have like that wave, like like how this is at the edge. The numbers should have that wave, like Ooh. right there on the edge of that seven. Okay, right there on the edge yeah, of that yeah. six. I'm with you. A little wave coming off the edge. A little wave coming off the edge. Just to show that you're like, you know, you're keeping that that theme flowing through the uniform. Houston, I thought, was so generic, it's it's bad. Yeah, just but the it. but the fact that these these colors are always gonna look good because black will always look good as a color. Yep. For a uniform. Yeah. It's just lazy as shit. It looks really lazy. But yeah, there's just there's nothing happening here. <laughs> there's nothing happening. There's no personality at all. It's just a generic, you know. I think New Jersey's were, I think these were good uniforms. I actually, I didn't think I would like these as much as I did after looking at them. They made a couple of like little things that I would change, like with the with the logo being on the top of the shoulders, I'd put it on the sides and put the numbers on top. Uh, but I right now, I, I give these cats, you know, I well, let me go back here. I give a B to them. I give a C minus to the gamblers. I give this. I give an A minus. Uh, yeah, I give an A, a. Like an a minus to the generals. But I think Buddy's pants are like too high. Yeah, <laughs> that's just you know probably a him <laughs> thing. Yeah, that's a him thing. <laughs> I don't think you need this wide ass like red mark on the side of the pants either. I think you could have done just as fine with. Uh, I think you could have actually done well with just a gold streak, one gold streak going down the sides, uh, or you know, one little small red streak, not this mm-hmm. thick ass red blotch on the side. But yeah, it's like and then again, team. you know, the numbers. I mean, I figure they could do something. I think the number font should have been different on these. I think the number font should have been like how the how the fucking letters are look at the letters the letters look smooth like they kind of got that you know slight, like almost like cursive kind of yeah almost cursive that's how i feel like the numbers should have been boom those would have been nice god damn these mugs suck i mean but those are good for them for what they're doing i give them the a minus these trash these pittsburgh maulers that's a fucking f they're gonna go over yeah that's it's not good it's just not good at all Michigan Panthers, I hate the name, but I do like this color combination. I think these, I would give these an A. They would just be over the generals as the best uniform. The Bandits, generic. Give them a D. Philadelphia Stars, man, so much potential. I give them a B minus because they had potential to be easily, they could have been an A, a solid A. 
yeah, if they, they got rid of these stripes with. on the side, which are useless, stripe on the middle of the helmet, which is useless, and then do the same effect to these numbers that you did to the logo, and you got a winner. Oh, that would have been so hot. And it's just like that. Just do the numbers. Just do the numbers. So, you know. They tried. Yeah. That's uh, that's how I see it, you know. Obviously, you know, obviously there's going to be a, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if the uniforms look better, at least from a fitting standpoint, standpoint once the season starts. But that is... Uh, the USFL. Now, t- to round the show up, to bring it to a to a a, a healthy close, there is a little little something we got to talk about here. There's a little somebody we got to go into a little bit here. <laughs> we got to talk about this because <laughs> this cat thinks he's smart, but he just keeps proving to us that he is as dumb as they come. And I mean that in the nicest way possible, but you're a fucking idiot, <laughs> Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown. Everybody remembers him, right? The guy who uh, stripped down to his fucking pants and uh, jogged off the field on third down while his offense was getting ready to go out and, and, and run a play. Effectively quitting on his team. The meme of the football century. Yeah. Antonio Brown quitting on the Bucks. I mean, what a clown. So Antonio Brown, in this whole situation, he talked about the Bucks were making him play hurt. He was playing juiced up on painkillers, yada, yada. We watched him run a route, an immaculate route that almost caused the defensive back to hurt himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he broke that dude. Uh, like that. During that game, and he caught a ball for a good, a good gain on that, on that route. And he ran like there was nothing wrong with him. Now, during this time, you know, there was a lot of of back and forth about whether or not, you know, the Bucs actually did that, about whether or not Antonio Brown was really playing with a serious injury. And he said that he had MRIs and all this and all this and that to back up his claim. Well, here we are, folks. February 21st. Here is the story with the picture of the x-ray of Antonio Brown. And this is what he had to say. And I'm going to go through this because, you know, we owe it to him to, to at least share his side of the story. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Man had something to say. I'll listen. Let's hear him out. Let's hear him out. But we'll come. We'll, and, and after we hear him out, then we will eviscerate him. But let's hear him out. Yeah, dog. <clears throat> they tried to hurt me intentionally, and then he tags the Buccaneers. Now, if you're looking and trying to look behind these words and see what exactly was it that he was talking about, well, good luck to you because I couldn't figure it out either. <laughs> <laughs> Sent me out there after knowing I was still hurt. Tom said he would throw it if I throw it if I came to play. Hurt, I came. Okay. Good English. He didn't throw it. Imagine being hurt, having to play through this and being lied to. Oh, so you mad because he didn't throw you the ball. Oh, Mm. okay. Mm. Okay. All right. Coach said, if I couldn't run on this, get the fuck out of here. Fuck all you motherfuckers. (laughs) Still can't stop me. Can't spell with a C-A-I-N-T. Stop me at NFL. Well, that's like can't, you know, versus can't. Can't versus can't. <laughs> Let me know you're from Miami without telling me you're from Miami. You know what I mean? And then you could tell he started getting mad. He said, Coach said, if I couldn't run, couldn't run on this, get the fuck out of here. Fuck all you motherfuckers. <laughs> so, so, I mean, I'm not a licensed. Antonio Brown. Uh, now, if know, you look closely. Tech. Ooh, didn't see that. If you look closely, All photo. there's a date here. If you look closely, it says 10 15 2021. All right. You look closely there. You see you see the date. 
10-15, 2021. The MRI that is supposed to prove he was playing hurt is from October, a whole two months before the Jets game, which he played in January after he spent two months rehabbing. And if you look here, this was the day, let me see where I saw this here. This was the day that he actually got, and it's at the bottom of the screen, bottom of the computer screen. You can barely see it, but I think it says 10, 25, 21. So he took a picture of this four days after he actually was there. So <laughs> drugs, you, should, you shouldn't do drugs. Drugs wow. are bad. So, in trying to bring this out as proof, he has only shown that he is not smart enough to actually make sure he aligns his dates so that it doesn't look like he's full of shit because the x-ray was done on October 15th and the game that he was supposedly playing hurt, which was the game that he came back, uh, he came back a week before that game That's after right. being suspended and doing rehab. He had over two months of downtime. Yeah. So it should, if not 100%, should look completely different. And I can't even tell what's wrong be, in this picture. Um, yeah, you can't, even, you can't even tell what's wrong, first off. I mean, if but, you point something out to me, I would tell you that most players at his position probably have some type of issues in their ankles from all the Everybody's playing they're... hurt. Everybody's playing hurt. Like I could take. But there's a difference between playing hurt and playing injured. Yeah, I could take mine and your MRIs, and I could almost guarantee that there will be knee issues, there will be hip, lower back issues. It, it's mm -hmm. football, you know. It's football. Your body is destroyed. <laughs> short of seeing something, you know, sticking at a 90 degree angle that should be straight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, I, short I of actually like. Hard. I, yeah, yeah, I don't I don't really understand what he's the point he's trying to make. One, you are making that point a month and a half later. And you're making that point with something that's actually like three and a half months old, <laughs> which is enough time for you to have healed from whatever was happening here. You would have healed from that in that time. I mean, hell, there are cats who are who make it back from a broken hell. Uh, what's his name? Oh, T.O. Uh, played in the fucking Super Bowl. Three uh, weeks. Yeah. And that was a broken Three leg. Three weeks on a broken leg. You know, they drug test him. Hey, he might come back dirty. <laughs> he might piss Something. fucking nuclear. Uh, he might piss uh, radiation. Knows what. Yeah. <laughs> Can he play? But the question of him being out there playing already, he, he did it and he had like 180 yards receiving, 130 well, went, yards receiving. He went off. He went off. It was yeah. Donovan McNabb's ass who fucked it off. And he wasn't even hurt right. throwing up in the huddle. So now I'm a little curious that I've thought about this just a little bit. What is the point of this? I don't know. You know is what? There, he was he was threatening litigation. I was gonna That's say is there, doing is there action coming? If if not not to, if they see the dates on this. Yeah. <laughs> if you're going to take somebody that route, I would want to kind of hold my cars a little close to my chest. I mean, I wouldn't I be posing shit, but we're talking about AB here. AB got CTE, <laughs> MRI, QYZ all together. I mean, I'm aware that there's, you know, discovery and all these, uh, you know, motions and, you know, things that happen in a, in a case, but I, I don't want this out there for the world to see if this is my smoking gun and it's, the motherfucker ain't smoking. <laughs> it's hardly a gun. It's not smoking at all because, I mean, look, all you got to do. <laughs> oh, damn. That's good. <laughs> hey, you can't argue with the chair. Oh, my God. I got to see it. You can't argue with the chair. I got to see it. Yeah, we got to I got to see it. Oh, yeah. God damn it, Mike. 
Didn't he also say like he had uh, some <laughs> STD that was like out of control? He said he had. He said he had syphilis. <laughs> <laughs> he did a fight. <sighs> this motherfucker was just falling apart. Oh my god! <laughs> Here it is, boys. Right on. Oh my god! This is the perfect. This is the most perfect shit ever. I swear to you. <laughs> that, just made, that just made my day. That made my fucking day. You made me just stop the show, and we're going to watch this video. We're going to watch this video, because if you know what? If you're going to fake like you broke some shit, <laughs> you better fake like you broke some shit like how Michael Jack, how, how, like Michael Mike, Ty, Mike Tyson would do it. Hey, die with a lie. <laughs> die with a <the> lie. <laughs> This was the greatest shit ever. This was the most. <laughs> and the fucking announcer, he goes with it. He just goes uh, with it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, what are you going to say? Tell us how. <laughs> what are you going to say? Mike how? Tyson. You go, just <laughs> guess that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to be like, yep, Mike? Come on, Mike. Come on. <laughs> yep, what's working to me? <laughs> I broke my back. <laughs> I broke my back. <laughs> I broke my back. The concern on his face is... <laughs> I broke uh, my back. You hear the strain in his voice? Look at his face. I mean... That looks like a man with a broken back. <laughs> he says I broke my back. <laughs> yeah, final. Uh, I broke my back. Uh, if I ever see you, I don't want to. I broke my part, back. But this shit is funny. What do you mean by that? You my broke back is broken. <laughs> what part? A, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. <laughs> most of the back. Uh, most of the back is. He said, "Oh, you, you broke your back, Mike. How? What is that? Vertebrae or?" <laughs> I broke my back. Oh, this girl, what's going on? What do you mean by that? You broke my back is broken. What a, a vertebrae or, 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 or Oh, my back is broken. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> oh. That's, oh. Legend. That's legendary. This is legendary, people. This is like the greatest sports, <laughs> like the greatest sports, like WTF ever. Everybody was as soon as he said that, every single person was like. Huh? <laughs> like your whole back or what the fuck? <laughs> Even Jim Nance asked. He's like, oh, well, 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 what do you mean, Mike? Uh, vertebrae? Yeah, he like, no, to... it's spinal. Like, he's... nigga, how are you standing? <laughs> he, tried, he tried his best to save it. <laughs> <laughs> There's no fucking oh, way he knew it was going back there. Is broken. What, uh, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. <laughs> so I can't watch it anymore. Oh my god, I got my stomach hurting. Yeah, I'm, just, oh. I'm losing my shit here. Oh man, I'm sweating like shit. I mean, more than usual. Oh god damn ah. Woo! What a clip. What a clip. I broke my back. <laughs> my back is broken. Well, so if you can defend spinal. the heavyweight title with the fucking broken back. That's why I lost. Who's gonna be like, yeah, you you a bit, Mike? Anybody's gonna say nothing. You can't. Uh, okay, run a Mike, routes. we got you, buddy. You know, good luck on getting getting healthy off of that. You know, right? We'll say a prayer for you, Mike. Yeah. So that's pretty much you know, that's our thoughts on on Antonio Brown and him posting a picture that's that clearly shows you had enough time to be like healthy enough. <laughs> And you know what I'm I mean? I'm not even sure it shows an injury. I mean, you could have, you know, that we, yeah, you know, we don't even know what, you know, he can't even point to us and say, yeah, this is the injury. So you could have said, yeah, us, uh, help, help us out. I went and got an x ray. That's all that says to me. Yeah, I don't study so. fucking MRIs for a living. I don't know what to look for. <laughs> you yeah, know, I can, so I can see if there's like a crack, you know, like I've seen. And you know, you usually, you know, MRIs. Like usually there, there's something, there's something pointing to the injury, usually. Yeah. Something usually looks amiss. <clears throat> and there, I'm just like, oh, that's an ankle. Okay. Oh, my that's God. That's what I expect to see on an NFL receiver. 
Yeah, I mean, and, and look, the simple ankle. fact that there's a, a, a 10 second video of you fucking roasting a defensive back in that game, and then you like jogged off the field, doing jumping after jacks. you quit. <laughs> Like, like, bro, like, we know you're not. We know you weren't hurt. You're just mad. So I don't see how Which they – is the kind of hurt. And well, Your feelings were hurt. But yeah. I mean, tried to intentionally hurt me. Come on, man. Yeah. Nobody tried to do anything. Well, all right, guys. That is going to be it for us here on Lime and Life Live. We appreciate you guys for being in here. Uh, like we've been – like I've said, like, soon we're going to be getting into – uh, our draft board. We're going to create our own personal draft board. We're going to have you guys. I'm going to figure a way to get you guys to to interact with us in doing that. We may have to set up a poll, uh, and we're going to rank uh, our top five offensive linemen for this coming up NFL draft. That will be, uh, you know, pretty much where our priority will stay uh, as far as. Uh, the draft goes. We'll try and, you know, look through the teams in the divisions in the NFL. We'll see how we can get to that. You know, we don't want to – we want to get things – you know, we want to make things a little bit uh, – we don't want to get too deep into the draft because it gets – it can get really complicated. But we're going to focus on our old linemen as far as our board goes, and then we'll look into each team's individual needs in that regard uh, as we get closer and closer to the draft. But – until then, we'll be uh, keeping up with what, uh, you know, the, the the more broader stories in sports, which will obviously be outside of football as well. Uh, so be prepared for that. And uh, let us know if there's something you want to see us talk about, if there's something you want us to cover on the show, you know, shoot us. Uh, I got we got the community board on my channel where you can, like, leave messages and uh, let us and, and you can let us know what you want to see and we'll. See what we can do about getting that kind of, uh, you know, customer or, or audience content <laughs> uh, set up for the show. Uh, we'll probably prioritize members of the channel over just, you know, any regular, uh, regular requests. But definitely something we want to get you guys involved in as well now that we're into the off season. Uh, so if it's a sport you want us to cover, if there's a story in a sport you want us to cover, let us know. and We'll get on that uh, when we can. But until then. We will see you guys here on Wednesday, and uh, we hope everyone has a wonderful Monday. Uh, you know, it's almost over with now, but, you know, hey, Monday's first day. Got to get yourself motivated yeah. to push through Knock the week. Out. Knock it out. But we will see you all in the next one. Hope everyone has a wonderful night. Peace out. <laughs>